We all know the GM LS engine is really popular for engine swaps. You'll find an LS engine in Miatas, Jeeps, boats, planes, Mustangs, etc. They're in pretty much everything. But there's a lot of different LS's and they're all very similar. Now, two of the most common LS motors that you'll find are the LS2 and the LS6. And although they're technically from different generations of LS, they share a lot in common. So today we're going to dive in and compare the LS2, LS6 and find out which one is better. Now, as you may or may not know, there are two different generations of GM LS. You've got Gen 3 and Gen 4, and although they're really similar, there are some key differences. Now, the big di differences that you'll find in pretty much all LS engines are the camshafts, heads, intake manifolds, and overall displacement. Now, there's a ton of other really small changes that you'll find from LS to LS, but for the most part, those are the big changes that you'll find. The most obvious difference between the LS2 and the LS6 is the displacement, where the LS6 is going to be a 5.7 liter because it's based on the LS1, and the LS2 is a 6 liter. In theory, more displacement means more power and more torque with less work, and that's not always the case, but in general, more displacement is a good thing when you're looking to increase power. Of course, the bore and stroke changes are more than just for displacement. The LS2 LS2 is the first engine in the Gen 4 engine family, whereas the LS6 is part of the Gen 3 engine family. Uh, I think it goes without saying that displacement isn't everything. If your heads suck, you're not going to be able to flow enough air, and that displacement is basically going to be wasted. So your cylinder heads are one of the key factors when making horsepower, and that applies to every single engine. Luckily for GM LS engines, pretty much all of them flow really, really well, and the LS2 and LS6 in are included in that. More specifically on the LS6, you'll find the GM243 heads, which are basically just an improved version of the LS1's 241 heads. Now those 243 heads in totally stock form flow around 210 CFM on the intake side and about 75 CFM on the exhaust side. Now that's slightly better than the 241 heads that they're based on, but really not by much. Now one of the nice features that you'll find on the 243 heads are the hollow valve stems and sodium filled valves, which are great if you plan on using the engine for forced induction. Now you would think that the LS2 being part of the new Gen 4 engine family with all its cool new features would use way better and newer cylinder heads, but uh, no. It uses the same 243 cylinder heads that you'll find on the LS6, although with a few minor changes. The big change is that the LS2's 243 cylinder heads don't have sodium filled valves, but they still use LS6 valve springs. To put it simply, LS2 and LS6 heads are pretty much identical, although the LS6 heads are technically slightly better because of the sodium filled valves, but that's really a minor change and they're basically the same heads. Something that I think is worth noting is that the 243 heads on both the LS2 and the LS6 use the cathedral style ports, which is different than later Gen 4 engines, which use the square style ports. I think it's also worth noting that the GM243 heads are almost identical to the GM799 heads, although they're not exactly the same. Now moving on to the camshafts, we'll find some more notable differences and throughout the years both engines use slightly different camshafts so for simplicity's sake we're just going to look at the most aggressive camshaft used in the LS2 and the most aggressive camshaft used in the LS6. Without getting into too much detail, the LS6 camshaft offers more lift, more duration, and a wider lobe separation angle. With more lift and more duration you're going to get more air into the engine and the wider lobe separation angle should theoretically give the LS6 a wider power band. As a matter of fact, the LS6 cam is the most aggressive cam GM put in any cathedral port LS engine. You can see the effects of the more aggressive camshaft and the power figures. The LS2 outputs 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, and the LS6 outputs 405 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. On paper, we're talking about a mere 5 horsepower increase, but with displacement accounted for, you can see that the LS6 makes 5 more horsepower per liter of displacement, which mostly can be attributed to the camshaft as well as some other things. Now, if we were to take these power per liter figures and basically make each engine equal, make them both 6 liters for the sake of example, you would see that the LS6 would actually make 426 horsepower instead of 405 horsepower. Now this again is mostly attributed to the camshaft, but it's also attributed to some other things like the intake manifold, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Now the LS2's piston rings have a true flat top design with all three of the rings having lower tension than the LS1 and LS6 rings. Lower tension reduces friction to free up horsepower. Now the pistons have full floating wrist pins with that help reduce that piston slap noise that's common with the Gen 3 engines like the LS1 and LS6. The LS2 also has Siamese cylinder bores, which means that the water slot between the cylinder bores is unnecessary for adequate cooling and that all bores have a solid, uninterrupted connection. This basically results in a stronger block that is less prone to cylinder distortion. Less distortion means less friction and less pumping loss. Significant improvements were made with the intake when GM developed the LS2. Intake runner geometry was optimized for the 6 liter displacement and it used a larger bell mouth, larger throttle body, 
and the entire induction system was redesigned for lower restriction. Overall, the intake system on the LS2 supposedly flows about 15% more air than the LS6, but that's not entirely true when we dig a little bit deeper. Now, when you remove the rest of the induction system, so remove everything except for the intake manifold, the LS6 is actually far superior than the LS2 in stock form. The LS6 just simply flows more air than the LS2 intake manifold. But that being said, a lot of tuners still prefer the LS2 manifold because with some mild port work, the LS2 manifold supposedly can flow more air than the LS6 manifold. Pretty much up to this point, the LS6 is the slightly better engine, but when we account for pricing, the, the story is a little bit different. Buying one of these used, you're gonna have a much better time buying an LS2. To put it simply, the LS6's rarity and great performances made it kind of expensive in comparison to the LS2. Now that being said, the LS2 is still really expensive in comparison to say the LQ truck motors, but the, if you had to pick one or the other for buying used for your project car, the LS2 is going to be the better bargain. And you'd be basically better off just buying an LS2 and putting an aftermarket camshaft in it, which is going to way outperform the LS6. What makes the LS2 popular with engine builders is that the block is compatible with high flowing and desirable L92 cylinder heads. The larger four inch bore of the LS2 enables it to use LS6 or LS1 heads as well as L92 style heads. The LS6 on the other hand is pretty limited as far as head options because of the smaller bore. Now there's a ton of other really small changes that we could go into with these motors, but what we covered so far is pretty much all the major and significant differences between the LS2 and the LS6. So to answer the question of which one is better, the LS6 has a bigger camshaft, it has marginally better cylinder heads, it has a slightly better intake manifold, but it has less displacement and it's a little bit more expensive. So stock to stock, I'd say the LS6 is the better engine, but in the real world where you're gonna have to buy this and modify it yourself to put it into your project car, the LS2 is a much better bargain. It's gonna be cheaper, which means you can throw in an aftermarket camshaft, and a little bit of head work and it's gonna way outperform a stock LS6 for probably less money. That being said, I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below which one you think is better, the LS2 or the LS6, and let me know why. While you're down there, be sure to smash the thumbs up button because it really helps out the channel. Get subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.